Welcome to a sold-out, jam-packed Jordan-Hare Stadium. Welcome to War on the Plains. I'm Reese Davis along with Roger Manus. We are fortunate enough to have Alabama coach Bill Curry join us live. Coach, I know you're busy with pregame warm-ups, but what is the emotional status of your team right now? Very, very excited. I just hope that we can keep our heads on straight and get through all this and uh, do what we're supposed to out there between the white lines. It's a great occasion. It's uh, great for both schools, and it'll be a great game. Do you sense the history, Coach, right now, or are you thinking football X's and O's at this moment? No, I'm not thinking any history. I live with a, a history PhD. Uh, Dr. Carolyn Curry reminds me of my history. Once I get out of here, I don't think about anything but football. How do you feel personally right now? Well, I feel wonderful. My, see, my body always thinks I'm going to play. But if I look in the mirror, I realize that wouldn't last but about one series. So um, it's best that I stay on the sideline, but I'm very, very excited. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Coach, thank you very much for being with us. Alabama Coach Bill Curry. Good luck. Good luck, thank Coach. You very thank much. you. Roger, we have Coach Matt Dye ready with us now. Roger, take it away with Coach Dye. Thank you, Coach Dye. What are your thoughts right now as we're this close to kickoff? Well, it's up to the kids now. It's a player's game, and the fans going to do their thing, and but the players got to play it on the field, and... They've got a great football team. I think we'll play as well as we can play. Then the winner's got to, got all of the accolades that go with winning, and the loser's got to live with the results. Coach, um, you talked so much about how important it is to have this game here, but right now is your mind on everything? No, I, well, yeah, but I think you can see what it means to our people. And uh, I think the Alabama people are going to have a great time here today. <laughs> coach, thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you We're very much for being with us right now. Thank you, Coach. Good luck, Coach. Appreciate it. Over Coach Pat Dye, and we certainly appreciate both of them being with us. Now, as you can hear, this crowd is absolutely going berserk the first game, first time the game has been on Jordan-Hare Stadium. Now, how did it come here? If you're an Alabama fan, you probably think your tradition is being broken, but if you're an Auburn fan, you probably think history is being made. Wrong for it or dreaded it. Today is the first time since 1903 that Alabama and Auburn will play somewhere other than Birmingham. It's a day many thought would never come. In fact, former Tide coach and athletic director Ray Perkins said he would cancel the series before he would bring his team to Jordan-Hare. Ray had a little say in the matter when he left Bama for the big bucks and sunny beaches of Tampa Bay. So, after a relatively nasty court fight, Officials from both universities struck a deal on January 8, 1988 to move Auburn's 89 home game to the Plains. It elated Tiger fans and infuriated Tide fans. But what does it mean to the people it really affects, the players and the coaches? You know, we are playing at home, and I think really the fact that we're playing at home is far more significant than the outcome of this football game. You know, it gives the fans a chance to sit in their same seats for one thing, and uh, it's their turf also as well as ours, and uh, not to mention the money that be coming into this institution that Birmingham was getting. And Oh, yeah, and we don't care where the battlefields are. We've made that clear for a long time. We just like to play. We love to play football. It's going to be the loudest, uh, wildest crowd we've seen all year, and... Uh, I'm really excited about it. It's fun to play in front of people, uh, no matter if they like you or don't like you. And uh, you know, it's a it's a hundred yard field, and uh, you know, if you can mark off a hundred yards on the parking lot, I'll play. As long as they got their eleven, we got our eleven. We'll play. And uh... welcome back to War on the Plains. I'm Roger Manus. It is a jam-packed, wild Jordan Hare Stadium. History in the making. And if you've been reading your business section in the newspaper for the past several weeks you've been keeping track of the price of gold the price of silver and the price of auburn alabama tickets these babies are at a premium we price some ourselves outside the stadium prior to kickoff two tickets five six hundred dollars unless you found a bargain you can maybe find one for 125 to 150. now who's been the most popular man in this state in recent weeks the auburn ticket manager here's why Meet Bill Cameron. He is the assistant ticket manager for the Auburn Athletic Department. And for the past several weeks, he has been one of the most popular men in the state of Alabama. 
people think that you always have some in reserve and of course I'm getting calls from people that I haven't heard from in years people are going hey old buddy how you doing I haven't talked to you in 15 years and it's it has been a, a wild experience to say the least the game has not been as big a headache for the ticket office as you might expect the sellout took care of that early in the year when we caught up with Bill, the few tickets he had left for players' families were tucked away, safe and secure in the athletic department vault. Special thought and consideration went into the design of the ticket. The drawing features a tiger rolling out the red carpet for the visitors from Tuscaloosa. And depending upon which side wins, the ticket itself will serve as a keepsake. For Auburn fans, it's been a dream of Auburn people for Alabama to come to Jordan-Hare Stadium, come down here for years and years, something they've always wanted. And the ticket represents that, and it uh, represents that Auburn people want to be at their best. Uh, rolling out the red carpet is signified on the ticket. On the other side, the Alabama fans had, uh, uh, some people have been a little leery of coming down here, and if Alabama is to come, you know, if Alabama were to come in here and win, it's going to be a cherished possession for the Tide fans. Roger, I tell you, I'm glad we didn't have to come over here and try to shop for tickets this morning. And there are probably people outside the stadium right now that thought they were going to come over and shop for tickets that are looking for a television set about right now. Well, we told to watch us. Well, stay with us. We've got plenty of more war on the planes coming. But as we go to a break, let's have some Iron Bowl memories. But the thing that marks the Alabama-Auburn game is, is that it's usually the cleanest hard-fought game that you play all year and I think a lot of that has to do with the respect that the players have for each other or the respect that coaches have for each other and as coach I said you know it's, it's kind of like you're in a fight with your brother and if you've got a brother and you've ever played basketball with him in the backyard you're gonna play as hard as you can and to, to have that pride to be able to, to rhythm him about it or talk about it as many people historians have written about the Civil War it's brother against brother it's not Auburn against Georgia or Alabama against Tennessee because they come down here and they win or lose and go back to Tennessee. We don't go back anywhere. We live, work, and play and are married to each other. Welcome back to Jordan-Hare Stadium and War on the Plains. Now this sold-out crowd is expecting a big ball game and rightfully so, a couple of great teams matching up. But you know when it comes to Alabama and Auburn, great games and awesome endings or at a premium because it's always been that way and probably always will. Now, to keep things right down the middle of the road, we're going to take a look back at two of the greatest victories in Alabama history and two of the greatest victories in Auburn history. The first stop on our trip back, 1972, 17 years ago today, a game that will live forever in Auburn folklore. Alabama had dominated and led 16-3 late. Then, one of the most incredible finishes in college football history, known commonly as Punt Bama Punt. Bill Newton storms through, blocks Greg Gant's kick. David Langer scoops it up and returns it for the touchdown, not once, but twice. And unbelievably, Auburn had upset undefeated and second-ranked Alabama 17-16. Oh, yeah, it was just total excitement. I mean, everybody was just going nuts. It was uh, uh, something that you really can't um, explain. I know. After the 72 game, Bama ran off nine wins in a row, including 315. In 1981, Paul Bear Bryant came into the Auburn game seeking to become college football's winningest coach. Auburn led 17-14 late, but Walter Lewis hit Jesse Bendros on a deep post, and later Lenny Patrick would add another score 